Hello and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. Today I will be reviewing The Three Musketeers, the 2011 version. So to start off, this film was released in October 2011 and we have the main cast which is... Sorry, can I read my own writing? So we've got Matthew McFadden who plays Athos, we have Luke Evans that plays Aramis, and we have Ray Season who plays Pathos. And then we have oh, Logan. He plays D'Artagnan. <laughs> okay, so everyone knows the story of the three musketeers. Oh, three, and then obviously D'Artagnan comes later on. All for one and one for all, as they say. Um, they wish to save their king and save their country um, from the evil cardinal. And in this one, the Cardinal is played by Christopher Waltz. I think he is an amazing actor, so I was really, really impressed with his Cardinal. Um, and obviously, they try to beat the Cardinal at his own game. Um, in this, the Cardinal tries to make the King think the Queen is having an affair with the Duke of Buckingham, played by Orlando Bloom. So he sends his best assassin, which is Milady de Winter, who also had an affair with Athos. Um, and she betrayed him and stuff, but I won't get into that, spoiler otherwise. Um, all of it's a spoiler, really, going through the whole storyline. Um, but they managed to save the Queen's Jewel and get it back in time for this grand ball the King was throwing and made the Cardinal, managed to hide what the Cardinal was doing, otherwise they knew it would send France into a turmoil. Um, but obviously watching the film, you get all of that and obviously alive. A lot of action and everything like that, um, as you do with the Musketeers. I thought the film was really well thought out. Um, they tried to keep with the original Musketeer story, but with slight alterations here and there, um, which you know was fine for me and everything. And I thought the graphics were really good, and the cast was really well chosen. I don't really care what anyone else says. I thought it was really well chosen. Luke Evans. Come on, <laughs> he's amazing in himself. So I thought that was a really great pick, and oh, just Ray and Matthew and Logan, just perfect fits for every single one. And I'd really like to see another film with all of them in it. And uh, Mila Jovovich, who plays Milady de Winter, fantastic. But she's a brilliant actress anyway, so it was just a given. And obviously, as I said, Christopher Waltz as well. Um, I thought everything was really well done, um, really well thought out. I thought the the director, so Paul Anderson, you know, I, I think you're brilliant. Your work is fantastic and I really enjoy it. Um, so I am going to give this a Geek Legion of Doom. Da -da -da -da, drum roll. I'm going to give it a Geek Legion of Doom 8 out of 10. So I would definitely encourage everyone to watch it. Keep an open mind when you go in and see it. If you go in expecting great things, you're going to be disappointed. So go in, expect nothing, and you'll get great results for it. So I hope everyone's really enjoyed this review. I've really enjoyed giving it, and I'll add more. And if you want to know any more information about this film, please let me know on the comments down below, and I shall reply to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Peace out. Geek Legion